welcome to Disease Matters. This is Evelyn. Today we will talk about type 2 diabetes. The other day, I received a phone call from my uncle regarding his diabetes condition. He was very concerned that his blood sugar level was still being very high despite taking a couple of medications. From our conversations, I realized that he doesn't really understand about his condition and the reason for taking so many medications. So, since we're on this topic today, let me explain to you in details how and why does diabetes happen. Diabetes is a condition when your blood sugar exceeds the normal level. Every one of us needs some sugar in our blood as it is the main source of energy to our cells. When we eat or drink, the carbohydrates from our diet breaks down into glucose and enters our blood. The pancreas then senses the blood sugar level and releases a hormone called insulin into our bloodstream. Insulin then helps glucose to get into the cells for energy supply. In type 1 diabetes, the pancreas does not produce insulin at all. While in type 2 diabetes, the pancreas does not produce enough insulin or the body cells stop responding to insulin. Type 2 diabetes is often linked to obesity, sedentary lifestyle and also unhealthy diet. And this could be the reason why my uncle did not have good control over his blood sugar level. Sorry uncle if you're watching this. Hello uncle! You are encouraged to stay physically active by doing a 30 minutes moderate intensity workout 5 times a week. Cycling, dancing, fast walking or even playing badminton are some good examples that you can consider. Growing up in a food heaven like Malaysia, I totally understand that it is hard to control a diet. But you can always go for foods that are high in fiber but low in saturated fats, sodium and also glycemic index. Always remember the quarter quarter half rule when preparing your meals. Sometimes, your disease may still progress despite having a healthy lifestyle. This is a time when you will need your medications. Therefore, always remember to take your medications timely and regularly if you are prescribed with any. Uncle, you did very well on this. Keep it up. Those newly diagnosed patients may be started on metformin. However, other medications like glycoside, cetaglitin, and also dapagliflozin may also be used. All these things may sound a bit alien to you. For more information, you can stay tuned for our next episodes of One Diabetes Meds at a time. Anyway, when a single medication is not enough to achieve ideal control of your diabetes, your doctor may tailor a regimen with multiple medications based on your condition. Oh wait, my uncle did mention that he checked his blood sugar level quite often, but the level always exceeds 7, which is oh, not ideal. No. So, what's the ideal blood sugar level? We usually aim to keep the blood sugar level between 4.4 to 7 millimole per litre before meal or less than 8.5 millimole per litre if it's measured 90 minutes after meal. Your doctor will also monitor your HbA1c, an indicator of your overall blood sugar control over the past 3 months and try to keep it less than 7%. Other than monitoring your blood sugar level, signs and symptoms may reflect how well is your diabetes controlled. Inadequate blood sugar control may cause persistent symptoms like Frequent urination, especially at night, feeling tired or thirsty at all times, unplanned weight loss, each of thrush around the private areas, and also wounds taking longer to heal. Ultimately, why are we trying so hard to control our blood sugar level? Do you know that persistently having high blood sugar level can cause damage to our cells and even our organs? Having said that, serious complications on eyes, kidneys, hearts, nerves, and even our feet can happen due to uncontrolled diabetes. Now, I hope you have a clearer picture of diabetes and its management. Evelyn, Hong Kong ah! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh wait, in our next episodes, we will touch on one diabetes medicine at a time. If you like our video today, remember to give us a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to our channel. Do comment below if you have any questions and share your diabetes journey with us. That's all.